So already into our previous video, we have seen how we can form a nested loops. Now if we are working on a nested loop, sometimes it might happen, the loop has got very expanded and it goes on continuously looping those particular programs. So it might happen, it might hang your system or the loop get completely uncontrollable. Now if we want to control those particular loops, we need to go for loop controlling methods. So for loop controlling method, we have two different statements that is called as a break statement as well as the continuous statement. If I'm talking about the break statement, break statement is a very good statement generally we use for controlling the loop. If you are using a break statement anywhere into this particular loop or a program, it will break the complete loop over there itself. Now for example, I have selected multiple menus into a restaurant and I want my user to select it directly from the program. Till the time the user is not providing a particular a correct value or a valid value, the loop will go on asking him for the questions. So if I want to control it, I can directly put a break on it. So the complete loop will be breaked over here. The second we have that is called as a continuous statement. So continuous statement uh, is just like your break loop itself, but here it won't end up the complete loop, but it will end up a certain part of the loop. See both the things we are going to see into our detailed videos that the last two videos will be having on both individually on your break statement as well as the continuous statements.